Hi everyone, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Today I'm with another member of the Big Oggy crew. This is Neil Walker. Neil is living in Exeter. Just outside. Just outside, close enough, uh, near Smithy. So at some point we're gonna all get together and we're gonna put Neil on the channel a little bit more along with Smithy. Uh, but he's originally from Manchester area. Yep, yeah, originally. Um, and I'll be going up to Manchester very soon, which you'll see on a video as well. So another little connection. And uh, we are at Hale, Hale Golf today. Hale Golf, uh, you've seen on quite a few of my videos. Uh, it's got an exceptional short game area. It's got really good range facilities here. And it's also got hmm, a quirky kind of uh, pitch and putt, but a little bit better than that golf course. Um, I liken it to being two great big fields with numerous tees and greens. Um, but there's also a couple of holes that are really proper pure holes. So we're going to play a few of them today. Uh, I'm just going to show you around it. Uh, if you've seen one of the videos some time ago when I played the Honourable Company of Hell Golfers, there'll be a link somewhere up here. Um, go and see the course again. But there's been a few changes since then, and this whole uh, facility is having lots of changes over, um, over the summer and over the next few months. So it'd be good to keep coming back and just show you more about the place. So we'll crack on. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people up in front of us. We're just going to play a little bit, film a few holes and have a little chat with Neil at the same time. See you in a minute. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to film uh, one or two of the holes properly. Yeah. Um, Neil has just asked me the distance of this. Um, there is a, a scorecard with distances on it, but it's a bit of a running joke here between me and Ian, the owner. Uh, the, the, uh, the distances change on a whim really, as and when they decide where they're going to put the tee positions. So, uh, hit and miss, which is kind of the way I play my game at the moment. We'll be a hit and see where it goes. Your Honour, it's around about 100 yards. About 100 yards, okay. I think that's pretty good. I think that's very good. Well done, mate. Thank you. Okay, so the first hole... 100-ish yards, we think it is. And John's going to whack this on the green now. Confident. Yeah. I'd like to get four on a tee. <laughs> right. Yeah, no warm-up, no nothing. Just go for it. It's a bit to the left, but that's okay. Good for distance. Okay, let's go. Yeah, okay. Right, so John's just a wee bit short of the green. And a bit to the left. And a bit to the left, as I said, yeah. Looks good if that kicks in, running on nicely. Yeah, not do. bad, not bad at all. Thank you. Now Neil's just on the edge of the green. Very good shot, first time out. That's it. Oh, I thought you had that in. I think I got away with that one. Really, that was a wasn't the best shot really, but it's all right. Is that about 15 feet. Probably? About 15 feet. I feel with a. I think it's from slight right to left. I think, but. It's a power I'd putt. Say the, the greens are in really good condition considering the weather and I've been here before and they've not been. Yeah. That's a great oh. I didn't I'll finish off minute. Yeah. So we play ready golf on camera. That's anyway, fine. Well in, good four for John there. Good four for there. So this for your par? This for a par, yeah. Which will be a cracking start, because in fact he's never been on camera before. <laughs> no nerves, no nothing. Such a natural. Go on. <laughs> Unlucky, my friend. Tap it in. Well done. Off to the next. Happy with that. That's okay. <laughs> I don't have a best side. No, I'm going on my backside, my best side. I think. Okay, while we're waiting, because there's people playing in front of us, uh, we're now on the second hole. Uh, as I've kind of described um, Hell Golf before, the actual golf course, it's like a couple of big fields with lots of tees and greens. But actually, it's better than that. There's some really nice undulations. And this actually is a 220 yard hole. Um, just go past. Neil for a second, uh, which is kind of straight out. We've got a lot of field to play with, obviously, but uh, you know, still quite a challenging hole. There's some very sh challenging little short holes as well, and then the last couple of holes, pure proper golf course, proper long distances and and yeah. quirky. So, how did we meet, or how did we get involved with each other? Because you'll follow my channel. Followed your channel for and a few months now. 
you were a competition winner. I was a competition, yes, I know. Uh, cool. if, if you remember the Scott Redmond Concepts uh, putter cover competition, Neil won a Tweed, Harris Tweed. Harris Tweed. Putter cover. So we've kind of been you know, talking backwards and forwards and uh, just completely off the, out of the blue really a couple of days ago you yeah. just said you're popping down this yeah, way i think well, i've been spoke to john or emailed john previously said we try and get together and i could come down to come i only live in exeter so it's not far away really and we do come down with the family for holidays um but it's just one of those things trying to tie things in with family and other commitments to get away and we just made a last minute decision we looked at the weather and the boss my wife obviously said let's go so we're a camping not far from here about just near Helston, which okay. is not far yeah, away. Okay, yeah, not too far away. Camping, um, that's very brave. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah it's camping in our camp. Well, it's not in, bad. No, okay. it's okay. And uh, on the off chance, I emailed John to see if he was free for a quick game. And It's a very quick game. 12 yeah. holes. Yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, Hale Golf, uh, it's really reasonably priced. In fact, it's very cheap. It's uh, £6.50, I think it's it really is, for, for 12 holes. And, you know, you get what you pay for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, a little bit rough and ready around the edges, but it's great to... Just good to come and out. play and just enjoy some time with some friends and you know, dress code. Although we're actually dressed properly today, I have yes, to say. Yes, it's my We're probably way. a bit overdressed. <laughs> uh, it's just very relaxed here. Yeah. People just play and have fun. But it looks good. I mean, the fairways look quite good. The greens are really good. And the last one, it was really good. Yeah. It's, so. Uh, I, pl I played on a lot worse greens. Well, sure. so have I. So, you know, I so said this place is improving all the time. All the facilities are improving. And the course is, is changing leaps and bounds as well. Yeah. So, onwards to number two. Okay. Your honour, my friend. I'll have a hit then. Now this could go anywhere. Well, yeah, that's fine. I had a lesson last week. I've only had two lessons in my life. This was my second one was last week, and it's, it's was it a driver lesson? No, it was just a lesson in general, and it's okay. changed my grip and everything. So, hence it could go. That's all the excuses out of the way. Yeah. I can't think of any more. I've got a bad knee as well. Oh, and, uh, a bad knee. I've, I've got been one camping of those. for two days. <laughs> and that man's in my way now. Remember, we play good shots and bad yeah, shots on this channel, so. Just I'm sure you'll be fine. So I'm going over to that one there, yeah? Yep, straight in front of you. What do I know about straight? You've seen my drives. It's overrated, hasn't it, hitting it straight? That's coming around lovely. There you go, that's fine. Do. Nothing wrong with that. Nice bit of fade on that, I think. That's my no that's my normal shot. <laughs> my normal shot's a miss hit. <laughs> okay, we'll carry on filming. Right. Right, so John's driver. Baby driver. Yeah. Baby driver. It's a bit to the right, but that's running, that's good. I think I've got to keep going. Thank you. Uh, Neil's just been checking his um, GPS watch and has found out that hail doesn't actually um, come up on the system. Doesn't exist. So, again, we're just playing old fashioned, old school golf. <laughs> Work it out yourself. Um, probably a bit longer than the last one, about 100 odd yards. Yeah. Again. That's a great shot, nice and straight, it kicks on. Nasty Just a wee bit short. Died, didn't it? And it yeah. Hit. But that's okay. Keep online, going. online, perfect. Thank you. Okay, well I've come up just a little bit short and Neil is coming around preparing for his second shot. A little bit to the left, but this is actually a little bit of an uphill slope as well. So we'll see how he gets on. Could be very good. Oh, about the same as me. They're just kind of dying a little bit when they hit the ground at the moment, aren't they? So we're about even distances. Do we just go with a little, little chipper? Just a little chipper, yeah. Oh, double hit. Double hit. Oh. I don't see one of them very often. No, I've got a tendency to do that sometimes. Oh. On the green, that's fine. So not my best shot there, but you know. Double hit, that's just a rarity. I know, I've done that a couple of times recently. Not quite, no, not. I don't know what the rules are about a double hit. Oh, you, you win the competition. <laughs> I 
Answer, answer down below in the comments. What yeah, please do. That's a great shot. Oh, it's just died again. Again? It's online. Not doing too bad today, thank you. Well, mine counts at least two shots, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm, I'm, we're not counting, we're just, we're just playing to showcase the kind of place, really, and yeah. just introduce you to the channel, I think, really. Hello, channel. <laughs> so, it's about eight feet? Yeah, maybe a bit longer. Maybe a bit longer? Maybe a little bit left to right, I think. No left to right? No, it didn't move. Didn't move, unlucky. Good man. I'll finish it off. Tap me, mate. Get out of the way. Well done. About six feet, and that's a oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh don't know how that stopped. Ah, that's good, right. good Thank five, you. though. Is that five, five ones, yeah, John? Yeah, five, very good. Five and a tap in, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, like we said, we're not going to film all the holes because there are people coming behind us and it's quite a busy day today on the course, uh, which is great. You know, this place is £6.50 for 12 holes. Cheap as chips, you know, fantastic just to come out and play and enjoy yourselves. Um, so we're going to maybe show you just a few bits and pieces of some of the shots, but nothing like a proper course vlog until we get to the last three holes and then we'll play them properly. Big so, competition. Big yeah? competition. After okay, last up. three holes, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, see you in a little while. Okay, so one Neil's just setting this up. You've had a little musical montage of uh, Neil, myself, and some other people that we caught up with playing. Some random people. Some random people, which is great. I love random people. I'm very random myself. Uh, we're going to play the last three holes here at Hell Golf as a little bit of a comp. Now, Neil's been crafty, because up to now he hasn't told me his handicap, <laughs> but he has just now told me, and it is... 18. 18. So, uh, not a member of a official club but you are a member of society aren't you so yeah. you play in lots of different places yeah i'm a nomadic golfer a nomadic golfer i love nomadic yeah. golfers actually <laughs> so um i should really get shots shot, as i do with smithy i should shot get a, a shot hole. a hole shouldn't yeah. i okay so this is the first one this is hole number 10. it's a very quirky little hole downhill very short no idea how far we no go. idea how far 90 to 100 depending on where they put the tee so i'm just going to hit it and see what happens Lovely shot. Uh, uh, left. left. Coming down from a great height, oh. bit left. Like I said, very few people end up on the green here. I don't know why, it's just the people just get a bit confused by the hole. It was right for distance, but right slightly for distance, left, but that's okay. Right to left. Okay, so John's just going to set up now. And a very quirky little hole, quite like this one. I like holes like this. It's a hole where you really can't judge. You think you can and it's downhill, but then there's... Now, last time I did that, I went straight into there. <laughs> not this time, though. Not this time. I'm confident. John's been playing well. Not on camera, though. 
It's a nice looking shot. A little bit to the left as well. Bit left with far. me, I think. Oh, a little bit of a kick to the left. Kicked we off. Are pretty very much <laughs> next to each other. <laughs> very friendly golf Thank game. Thank you. Okay, so Neil is uh, about 10, 12 feet off the green, and I am just to the left of him. Um, so we're pretty much level, but I'll have the extra shot. Woo! -hoo. Uh, see what happens when you get pressure of ah, cameras and stuff. It. Play your next one, mate. While well, I'm, I'm still covering the camera, go on. Without the pressure of a camera, it's not good. <laughs> I have to say, he's actually been playing fantastically. He's hit some amazing drives. Just not on film. Much better. Go on. Very good. Just cut the first one. Why didn't you do that the first but time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so John's tee shot just kicked off to the left. Oh. Five yards off the green. I got shots to play with. You got shots to play with. It's a good effort, a bit short. Yeah, a bit but short. It's okay. Could do again this one in to put a bit of pressure. I think you need to get this in for a bit of pressure. The but you know the greens are a little bit bobbly in places. Go oh, round the houses and in the back door. Well done. Ah. Well, that was the scenic way. I think that. Round the scenic route. The scenic yeah. Way. Okay, so I'll carry on. So that's me in for five, I think it was. John's there this for is my third, two. I've got plenty of shots. You've got plenty of shots, yeah. Actually, I was in for four, John, I've just remembered, I think. Sorry, I've just remembered. Sorry, camera. <laughs> that's alright, still got time. Still got. No pressure, then. Great shot. John in for four with his shot wins the hole. Oh, I win the hole, one yep. nil. One, one nil. Strange noise. I think we've got cattle behind us. Yeah, it wasn't me. That wasn't the audience. <laughs> um, this, is, this is the longest hole probably at Hale. Um, not sure exactly how long I have to say. It's long, definitely a proper par four. All the way down to where the people are playing uh, and then second shot to get down to where that marker post is and then it's viciously to the left. I'm one up. John is one up. John has the honour. That's not good. It's gone straight in the bush. In the bush. That could be one all then. Could be one all. <laughs> I have to play yet though, John. That's true. <laughs> Again, I'm hitting the ball far too straight, which that is was, actually very good. Perfectly straight. I really will get used to this fact that I'm just not hitting right to left anymore. Okay, there's a big gap there if I can find it. Yeah, just just play safe when you've got this hole. Makes it makes it interesting for the last hole. Yep, bit of, bit of pressure. Much better. That's going to come round lovely. Here it comes. Okay. Kicks down. Perfect. Get that. Talk about putting pressure on, don't you? Right. As I, get a as I get a shot on this hole, yeah, I'll take one. Have another go. Dad, I brought a spare ball now. So I'm feeling a bit happy now. I've hit one straight on camera. That score was a good shot. Well, you've been doing really well. I know, without the camera. It's the pressure. I can't take the pressure. Okay, John, nice and straight this time. No, no, not <laughs> Right, Pull it left, but that's okay. Yeah, that no, got the hill down. Stop. God, it's not in the bush to go the other side, is it? Uh, I'll give you this hole. <laughs> right, John's gone left and right. And now, right. right. <laughs> go for it, won't I, really? Well, you might as well. Am I basically giving up the hole? Right. Well, let's be honest, I have given up the hole. So we'll never, aren't we? uh, we've actually just discussed. I'm probably showing you parts of the course you've never <laughs> seen before. Uh, yeah, my, in the moment, I'm just hitting things far too straight, and I overcompensated and hit it dead straight again, but not in the right direction. So you're going to go for this, yeah, I'm over this big bank those, of trees. Over those trees, isn't it? Trees and bushes. That could be a great shot. Now I did advise you not to, but <laughs> we <laughs> shall see when you get the other side. <laughs> well, we don't know yet. I have to wait and see how it turns out. I think that's going to be really good, though. Well done. I mean, got over, got over the trees. Okay, so one Neil is walking along. Uh, as I said, this is quite a tricky hole. Most people play a second shot to around about where that black and white marker post is and avoid the big bank of trees and bushes and there is the green in front on the left now we'll find out in a minute how good he's done but i think he's done a really good shot so let's go and have a look 
Now, after what was a cracking drive and an exceptional second shot, Neil has won this hole <laughs> on his own merit, it has to be said. I could not have done any better than this, even with an extra shot. Nice and steady, just finish it off, mate. This deserves to go in, it really does. No. Oh. Oh. Golf is just frustrating sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. But not I'm, bad. I'm happy with, I'm well, happy with some great shots, to be honest. Happy with two of the shots. Yeah. I, I was often told that golf is humbling, and sometimes it really is. But, you know, I would never have never won this hole, even if my best form wouldn't beat that hole. Thank well you. done, my friend. Well done. So, one all, all one to play. Okay, we're just waiting for these gentlemen to um, make their way towards the uh, 12th green. The 12th here has been extended since I played it um, last on camera. Uh, it used to be where you would go straight up, kind of there, and then you would knock it across the little tump on the left hand side of this tree and the green was right there. Now the green has been extended so it's kind of um, probably about another 80 yards past the tree now. Now you can go for it and we may go for it. One of these gentlemen did go for it, ended up in the range which is quite a common occurrence for people who go for it. Uh, the other two did what most people normally do and that would be go up, play left and then chip it across from there. Uh, we're just going to go for it I think just yeah, for the laugh. Yeah. So while we're waiting Neil, yes. um, occupation, we talked about your golf yep. a little bit, um, what do you do for a living? I'm an occupational health advisor or occupational health nurse, um, so basically I try and help people get back to work if they've been off sick for a long time or they've been injured um, and I've been a nurse for oh, 30 odd years. A long time. A long, long time now yes, so it's, uh, but yeah it's good, I enjoy it and um, like all jobs, good days and bad days. But um, of course, and uh, in a, like I said, in a strange quirk of fate. Uh, if people have ever watched the other uh, film that I've done of here with the Honourable Company of Hell Golfers, honestly, sometimes they're called the Dishonourable Company of Hell Golfers. Uh, a number of them actually work for the local hospital here in Cornwall in Trelisk. So uh, again, I think golf is one of these things where a lot of people in quite pressured jobs yeah um they use it and they kind of use it yeah, to relax it's good to get away i mean there's a lot of a lot of doctors play golf as well you know it's and it's just time time away where you can just be yourself i think really and just get away from things and just relax and it's um and i think especially like we're here today and you can't hear it there's no car noise there's nothing it's just nothing really and we're actually not very far away from no. a, a very busy dual carriageway no, all, that comes all. into penzance and yeah to rant into hell yeah. so and like john said i mean the course itself i mean these last three holes are really interesting really nice little holes um, yeah especially the last one I, I played well on that one so i think that one's well, good obviously yeah. well on that one. But, no, but i think they're all really nice and this one looks an interesting one as well so i think it's a nice course like john says a bit rough and ready i suppose in some bits in but places in places but, but greens, that's kind of what we expect yeah absolutely for the price you pay it's excellent and the greens are really in good nick I, I have to say that the greens have come on tremendously yeah. um, i have played it a few times and they've been a little bit iffy yeah uh, but then i think that's the same with everywhere you know yeah. I've, I've been to courses recently where they've been uh, i'm not mentioning which ones but they've actually sprayed them green yeah. because they've gone so brown yeah. and black in yeah. places i think a lot of, a lot of courses have suffered this year aren't they with it being a wet cold wet winter and then all the hot sun and there's been courses i've played on where there's been patches of moss and you know yeah. in really bad condition so i think these ones are really pretty good yeah, yeah a little so. bit undulating yeah um yeah but that's fine it's a challenge uh, I, I, that's all part of the challenge all i think we're actually just saying that it's got a fantastic range here and we were discussing that sometimes uh you know range practice is good yeah but even even coming out in a place like this it's got to be better for us than just hitting a ball off a so. map yeah I, th I think on a range is great because but it's quite artificial because everything's flat you know you're playing yeah. with flat tees you come here and you know you can pay what six pound fifty whatever it is and you've got different lives for different shots and it's getting you to play the game i think so i think that's a really positive thing really i think we've we've also decided if i've been trying it today just the first time for me uh, apart from the drives i've not really been using a tee yeah uh, in, in the fact that i've been using every hole as kind of an approach shot yeah 
So yeah, for me, distances. it's helping my short game. Yeah, because distances are some of those. And I think it's really good. And like the driver mentioned, that the short game area that John showed, I think, early in the video, it's it looks fantastic. <laughs> it's, it's, it's exceptional. State and it's certainly going to yeah. get more people to come and play here. Yeah, it's really good. And I think the course is going to improve yeah. um, leaps and bounds as yeah. part of that. I think so. I, think you know, so. I've, I know there are ongoing projects going on with the range to extend that as well. And I'm sure there's, there's more in the pipeline. Yeah, it's excellent. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Now, this is... Uh, been loosely titled by the um, Company of Hell Golfers uh, numerous names. Uh, it's actually called the Bell Hole. It's also called For Whom the Bell Tolls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because there's a bell at the end where you're supposed to ring when you come off the green uh, because we've got a blind area. Uh, it's also been called the Bell End. We won't, yeah. we won't discuss we won't, we won't that one. That. Um, yeah, but they, name, they rename all the holes as we play every time. So um, I'm not sure what the name is called at the moment, but we shall give bit. it a go. <laughs> so you're thinking just to the right of the tree. Uh, yeah, go to the right of the tree and it should sweep round. That, that's my plan. I've not actually done it yet, so I can only just assume that, right? That's coming around lovely at the left of the tree, but sweeping round beautifully to the right. That could be a great shot. It's going to be very interesting to see where that ended up. Well done. Thank you. So John's reliably informed me he's going for it as well. You've got no choice now. <laughs> You've got no choice now. It's on camera. So we think the line is just to the right of the big tree. Oh, I see. That'd be yours. You can use that, you can have that one. So a big tree just in front of John there. No, I've got to play safe. No, John's laid up, yeah. Like he, he, he fooled everybody and laid up on that one. <laughs> but that's good, it's gone straight and he's got a good line in next. No John's... No distance. No. I'm with a seven iron. Okay. Um, kind of over there. Over there somewhere. The range kind of sweeps out, so... Yeah. It's good contact, nice and straight. Yeah, hopefully that should be okay. Now my second shot is just a little bit short of the green. Really good for me, I have to say. There's the green. And Neil's great drive. Didn't quite come round enough, so he's still a fair bit short. But again, great shot. He's been hitting some lovely shots. After he got over the nerves of the first couple of holes playing with film, everything's going really well. Nice and steady. And that's happened to Neil a couple of times today. In fact, a few times, the approach shots have kind of just died before they've just got the green. We've almost said, all you needed was another foot and another 12 inches. A bit short, just again, yeah? Still very good though. I didn't want to hit it too hard and go off the back. That's the problem. It is a, a elevated green at the back and you will sweep off it. We're actually saying, if you'd have, um, hit your original drive where I told you to hit it, um, <laughs> you're probably going to end up on with the back. Yeah, I think so. Because yeah. you hit such a good shot. It was for a good time. hit really for me. It just didn't... But it's okay, I'm happy with that. Very good. So I shall try and chip on. So John's just short and right. His short game's been really good today. So I'm expecting good things. It's just ran on, it's just not caught. Unlucky, unlucky John. Oh well. Yours was a foot too far, I think, really. <laughs> it just... That's because you just alive it some really good. I know, I know, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't supposed to hear that, I was trying to say it quietly. <laughs> yeah, so I'm here for two. John is just over here for three net two. But he's got a cheeky little chip now. Not much green to work really, with. Yeah, back just die straight into this. Yeah. Just died on it. Just died a little bit too much. Oh. It's a very hard shot from there, John. It's difficult to know what to do. You haven't got much distance to work with, have you, really? That's all my excuses. Thank you. <laughs> so I think we're a bit left to right, maybe, but it's downhill, so I just need to get off this rough bit first and then see how it goes. Oh, I caught it behind. That was a I think you duffed it a little bit, but it's still going, and it's still going, and it's still going. Terrible. 
Unlucky. So it's become a bit of a, p a putting competition yes, now, hasn't it? Yep. So I'll take mine. Yep. We're level now, I think, aren't we? Yeah, I'm there for three. You're there for four net three. Is that right, I think? Yep, that's right. A very good put from John. He's going to. Oh, we just wavered at the last minute. Right, I'll finish off. And then finish, finish off, John. So we got a bit closer. He's already. He's got a sweep down that way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think a gopher just came up and punched it out of the air. Okay, you, John. So you've got a couple of shots here, I think. You've got two for the win, I think. Two for the win, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Oh! So it hit it straight this time. Yeah, nice and steady, because it will roll. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Well done, my friend. Congratulations. I'll beat you next time when we play on a full size course. <laughs> Thank you, John, that was really good. Ah, really enjoyed lovely. it. Thank, Thank you, very, you much. very much. So, as is now customary here at the end of the uh, 12th at Hell Golf, I'm going to get Neil to ring the bell. Well done. Thank you very much, Neil. Thank you, John. It's been a pleasure meeting you and playing you. Good. And like I said, we'll, um, we'll get together fairly soon. Yep. Maybe get Smithy involved as well, and we'll That'd play somewhere up near Exeter, near where you live. That'll be good. So you can invite us around for a cup of tea after. Absolutely. Okay. We, we, we put the cream on first. No, you don't. No, no, no. Jam first. No, no, jam, no, no, first. jam first. Jam first. Oh, we're <laughs> major debate now. That's, that's serious issues. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, John. Bye for now. <laughs> Neil just applauding the uh, <laughs> sh approach shots of the people behind us who have been lovely as well. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, before I go, just like to say, Jam first. Always jam first. Cream. <sighs> He's a heathen. Heathen. See you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>